Hi, this is Paul. I'm the creator of Octane Render for Poser, and I just wanted to present the first in a series of tutorials on how to use the application of the plugin. So, um, I thought we will start off by looking at lighting and materials. So, um, we're starting off on here with a very, very basic um, poser scene, and this is um, Ryan. And what we're going to do is look at the three basic ways of lighting this particular scene. So, if we start by uh, running the Octane Render plugin, it transfers this scene into Octane, and by default, there is a light that has an image map and the plugin will pick up that image map. So the default position is that the there are no emitters set up in this scene and there is simply an environment a texture environment here and it's that office foyer. So if we open the viewport then you find that that will render quite nicely. So you can see the background there is that IDL image. If instead of the IDL image you wanted the second form of lighting, which is sunlight, then click the environment option um, and choose daylight from the combo box here. And you'll see that there are various parameters that we can adjust. Um, just uh, the power comes from the uh, ID. IDL image, so we need to just back that off to, to around about 1. Um, there's also um, some sun directions there and we can, we can look at those too. So you can see now that the sun is coming from the top right and that's lit very very nicely. So you can change the actual position of the sun. You can see his shadow is changing there. Um, can change the uh, X, Y and Z coordinates of the sun to get various different effects. So that's very, very effective. The third way of lighting your scene is using emitters and these are planes in the poser scene um, which emit light. Now if we look at the poser scene here we can see there's a light up here um, and there are various other lights too. So you can see all the lights in the scene here. So um, there is a, uh, a small app in the scripts menu if you go into Octane Render for Poser and create emitter from lights then it will take all of the lights that are in the poser scene and it will create a plane for them. You can see this plane here and then when we look at the material for that plane you can see that it has an ambient value which is very high so it's guesstimated that ambient value. So then when we go into the Octane Render um, it will transfer the scene and if we go into the materials you can see that there are three meshes which are emitters so they have so emitter prop light 2 has been set up with a texture emission with a power of 222. So these three light sources will light the scene. Now if we go back to the settings and turn the sun off and open the viewport you'll see that the scene is now lit by these by these lights. Now the obviously it's a little a little intense at the moment but you can you can adjust um, you can adjust the power of the lights through um, the emission power here, so we could make this 100, and that will drop the light, the light back a bit. Um, just a couple of other cool features. Looking at this materials window here, the materials tab in the render setup. When you go into the materials window in Poser, and you click a material, it is brought up in and selected in the um, the tree here. So you can see Ryan as the mesh and his body is glossy and it's picked Ryan and, and glossy. If we pick the ground uh, it will select the ground material. 
the same way when you're in the normal room if we select Ryan it will select Ryan in, in the materials window here. Now if we have a look, closer look at Ryan you can see that he has a bunch of um, different materials. I'll just close that up and you can see under his body material um, the tech the when the material got converted from poser it has picked up that it's a skin material and it's automatically set the diffuse map to Ryan body it has seen that there's no bump map you can see there's no bump map plugged in here so it has used the texture map for the bump map um, and it set all the other parameters accordingly so if we wanted to um, change this bump map for example to a, um, a marble with a scale of about a hundred which might be a reasonable um, bump map which is procedural instead of using the the texture map here um, we can render that I think it's going to be a bit bright still so let me turn that light down already pretty low and we'll rend that and we might add some just a touch of daylight as well we'll just pause that and zoom in So you can see that rendering now. So it's obviously very important that um, the all the skin materials match. So you can see that we've changed the head material to have a marble bump map. We really want to propagate that through the other materials that are skin materials. And the way we can do that quite easily is to say copy that glossy node and then we can paste it to the head and when we paste it we can say paste the node structure and copy across the texture maps and we don't want to do that because his head texture map is different from his body texture map or we can say post paste the node structure retaining the existing text texture maps so if we paste his head there you can see it's kept his head texture map and it's brought across the marble bump map so then we can um, paste that into his eye socket and nostrils and lips and that's probably about it there's probably some others there but anyway so once you've got your material set up you can then right clip click the mesh and you can export all of the materials for this figure prop so we say export and we choose a name Ryan and that saves Ryan so the next time we load Ryan in you can simply select Ryan and you can import all the materials and it will it will import that entire material collection when you import um, you can say import all of the node structure and the image maps or you can import just the node structure and retain the existing image maps so for example if you had a different map pose for Ryan you could go into the material room apply the different map pose then you would come out and you would re-import from poser this figure and that you'll see that it's uh, re-imported the old bump and then you import all the materials retaining the existing texture maps um, and we'll choose Ryan and you can see that it's replaced body head, eye sockets, nostrils etc and then when we look at that you can see that it's got the marble bump map 
So it becomes very, very quick to load a figure in, um, load your favourite skin shader in, propagate that across all the skin materials, and then save it as a material collection. If we decided that this particular skin setup was great, we could just save um, this material with export material and that just saves the body material rather than body head lips etc so that's just one material instead of a collection and you can load that material so I could export that material to something silly and then on the ground or say the running shorts I can import that material and then when we um, open the viewport his running short should be skin color and which you can see right there so it's a very very quick way of having a default library of materials and loading them into your figures so that's the initial uh, tutorial um, if you have any questions please post them on the forums or the blogs or the Facebook page. Thanks, bye.